Hello everybody, welcome to the round 16 match between Jorge El Cuatro and Nelisius. Um We have uh, Chorfs versus Dark Elves. Really nice Chorf team, isn't it? And there's not even a wizard for the Dark Elves. In fact, there's a bribe for the Chorfs. Oh yeah, it's not actually that nice, right? He's got two rookies. He's got two rookies. Which kind of makes it nicer in a way because it's like... Man, he'd rather have him up 40 more TV, doesn't he? But still, he's got two full claw problems with jump up. Crazy. Maybe one could have taken horns. You know, for the uh, things. Maybe he didn't need the third claw. But, you know, it's fine, isn't it? Um, bulls. Oh, wow, we've got a Daka. Glorious Daka. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Oh, God, move six witch. Move six blitzer as well. I, I'm hating the Juggernaut less with the Daka because with the Daka you're not making 16 hits with Mighty Blow anymore, right? You're making less than 16 hits with Mighty Blow. And you're making more crucial blocks where you need a push. So, well, not really. But the chances of you needing a crucial push is maybe higher. So, um, it's interesting. It certainly leans into the intent, which uh, I would just counter by saying you're still trying to make a first out of a big dish. Oh my I god. The Dark Hills are not on fast well. Hello, They're Purple many Chest. Many Sorry. The Dark Hills are many of them. <laughs> they are, but you, you sound like you're underwater. It's amazing to have you in the booth. And hello. Uh, but... Let me see what I can do to clarify. Yeah. Oh. Wow. PC back in the booth is incredible. What an honour. Let's, let's, let's get him on screen. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't, like, I, I agree that, you know, especially this is a move bus team as well, right? We've got a, we've got a blitzer, move bus blitzer and a move bus witch elf, so the Dakar is worse. And also, the Dakar isn't, isn't great against these bulls that are just incredible. So... You know, it's. I'm not saying it's, but it's also a great time to Daka because look at these bastards. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like he's got two jump up tackle bombers, claw bombers, and the claw matters how, against how's the that, How's that for sound? Uh, you still sound pretty bad. Okay. Right. I'll wait. I'll wait, PC. <laughs> well, luckily nothing's happening anyway because it's Daka. Um. Yeah. Exactly. No. Yeah. Like so. This is the thing. Like this is the perfect time to Daka because these guys are just gonna. They're going to cream you, right? They're going to absolutely cream you because the claw is not relevant. Like, the cl sorry, the claw is relevant. Unlike Wood Elves, um, where they don't really care about the claw. These guys, the claw, you know, you're paying, you're sacrificing movement for armor, and then these guys are shredding your armor. And you know, if so, it's 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 exactly the kind of team you want to dacker against. But it's certainly going to be tricky. But then a normal has, driver is going to be tricky. Oh, perfection! Hello. Has that solved the issues? Oh yeah. Oh, baby. Hello, PC. Hello, hello. I was oh. actually just about to play a game of Blood Bowl. You've saved me from that. So in many ways, this is perfect time. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I'm happy to help. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, look, I don't I don't hate a Dacker in this situation, you know, trying to avoid attrition from the nasty-looking Chorf team. I understand it. Uh, and Elves, you know, with their agility. And the Juggernaut, as you say, does lean into that ability to knock the hole where you need it. So it's going to be interesting to see it done. This is a nice flat line approach we're seeing, trying to stonewall it. Of course, it does leave the edges very vulnerable to that juggernaut. Mm. Dark Elves do just lack that those you know those move eight pieces that can really push through that hole and, and secure you know the, the the one turn that you need once you push through. Um, and of course, they lack the leap of the Wood Elves and the just obnoxious ability to roll three plus anytime they want to rats. So it's not a natural team for it, but he's certainly built well towards that. Um, yeah. I quite like that the Chorfs are pushing forward and not giving them the time to really, you know, kill half at, at half. If they want to go through, they're going to be forced to do it on four or five at the latest of thought. Yeah. Yeah, and I like moving up to meet them rather than trying to, like, uh, if you saw the Gadenic versus Razzlestorm a few seasons back, he got really, like, pushed. You know, he, he tried to step, step back another turn and was, like, just in his end zone and it was a massacre. So I like, you know, trying to get out a little bit here. 
even if it means getting claw palmed again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nolly's saying, and that's why I dackered. <laughs> yep. Wow. Brutal. Oh, God. Instant death. I mean, it is. It's unfortunately not unexpected when you're facing claw poppers. Mm. But does it also create a slight edge up that side? I mean, he is now on the ground, not having a tackle zone. That does leave the flank, maybe. It's the, I mean, the guard hobgob is a lovely piece to have in there, keeping that flank a little bit more secure. The, the worst thing is, it, it, it's, he's open here, isn't he? This is this is where to go through. The worst thing is, it doesn't even open him there because yep. he's got jump up. So, like, if he didn't have, if he didn't have, yeah. The jump well, I mean, up, it, 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 it it just gives you that little way past him. I mean, he, yes, he's back in the game next turn. Uh, the problem going through here is, of course, the bulls because bulls can solve most problems for chaos dwarfs. You can leave the chores behind in two turns. You can't leave bulls behind. No. And why However, would you want yeah. to leave your bulls behind? <laughs> well, absolutely. The, the hole is there, and he's you know stuck it through there as we all do in those circumstances. <laughs> yeah. Any chance we get? <laughs> Irresistible, isn't it? It's, you know. Yeah. Does need at least the push on this chore, but off the loner. But that should be fine. Yeah. yeah. So now it's runaway time. Um, <laughs> At least only one of the bulls has got tackle. You yeah. can tie bulls down a bit. You can limit them by making them dodge off backwards. But it's it it might cost you some elves to do it. How deep's the bench, here, Jim? How deep is your bench? Uh, no bench for the delves. Oof, rough. Oh, no bench for yeah. either side. So yeah, that's that's because I was thinking it was kind of crazy that the the chuffs got a got a bribe. But yeah, it's because they've got no they've got no bench at all. Very very tight on both sides then. I mean, yeah, the delves, you can throw delves in the way of, of getting this ball secure and the score done, for sure. But mm. does it leave you enough? Are you going to play for the ground and hope for the ball in overtime? Yeah, it's a bit... You cut a hobgo. You didn't have enough to buy another one. I would rather have two hobos than a bribe, for sure. Because, like, there's a mighty blow, which this can easily bang someone out, can't it? Yes, I mean, you've got to keep those hobgobs dry. You've got to keep them safe. His bulls don't look like they can carry a ball to save their lives, so... It's very much a one-plan team, but, I mean, this sort of chalice at the moment, it's very unvogue, isn't it? Yeah, you know, a fairly small team cut to do something really specific and do it hard and do it well. Um, these delves perhaps a little flatter, if you want to think of that, whereas the chorfs go very tall with their build. Yes, yes, building tall or wide, isn't it, is the thing. Yeah. The terminology. So this is the problem I talked about. So we, we broke through beautifully, but lacking the pace to really get anything up in front, that it's it's possible for the Chaos Dwarves to clog that route forwards. And this is now a, it's not a tough turn, but it's interesting. And if it doesn't go well, if there's a early or even mid-turn fail, the Dwarves could be in all sorts of trouble. Yeah. I still think it's, it's working better than a normal drive would have done. Yeah, particularly. I mean, particularly against these jobs. How do you how do you stop them and pull a few pieces apart without that wrecking half your team? Yeah. And you know the chaffs have been left in the dust a little bit, haven't they? Oh, they have. Obviously, the reroll has to go in. <laughs> yeah, it's still too early in the turn for the fail to come there, really. Particularly with one of the bulls having oh. dodge. And the next dice rolls a one, but uh, you know at least I, I like you know activating the loner there because uh, I mean first of all you know you have to roll dice with somebody right, but I prefer that than the one day because at least it's you're like you know the loner it's not a disadvantage yeah. once your re rolls go. Is it? No, I mean it's you say leaving the chores behind. We can with a double go for it get a, a tackle zone from a chorf on the ball, um, which I don't hate. I certainly wouldn't have done that block with the ball. No. I was looking to dodge off him and see if I got lucky and did it on a four and then still have break tackle. And if not, because in this rule set you can change your blitz target, change the blitz target to the witch. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that kind of speculative break tackle that you can't do anymore in the new rules. No, now you declare your blitz your target um, before you even think about doing anything else. Yeah, tra a tragedy for break tackle. And obviously break tackle nerfed as well. Um, so, well, for most people who used to take it, so... 
I think actually if you go to the toilet between the turns uh, and you're going to break tackle, you declare it then, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> you know, the one, that's one thing you really don't want to do though when you've got the toilet is break tackle. <laughs> At the course of Blitz, you now have to declare in writing three days ahead. <laughs> it's only fair. Yeah. The dump off's hilarious, though, isn't it? You've got to declare it's your dump off. It's just absurd. Yeah. It just needs changing to something that isn't stupid. I, I don't doesn't care get, how you do the rule. The I care that it's stupid. Yeah. Now, if this guard hobgob went down, that would be very interesting. Excellent. Juggernaut getting the KO in, amazing. Well, in a strength four, which is a, with mighty blow, is such a beautiful blitzing beast. It sure is. A juggernaut does give a load of options if you are planning to play like a coward. I'm <laughs> sorry, Dak. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, it's just sensible. It's just sensible, isn't it? Yeah, Ollie. I liked the screen. I liked that that you put the reroll in because you knew the screen was too weak. Um, and then this is a nicely developed move forward. The Chorps didn't do enough last round. I mean, it was a horrible plan. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the, the block with the bull was ridiculous. Needed to get much more back to stop end this kind of thing happening. Yeah. So a well played first half of uh, against the uh, the withdrawn offense, but once they've broken through, the response has been poor. Yep. But he's still got a chance. He's still got the two big balls. Yeah, I mean, now if he can take another couple of elves off the pitch, uh, then the second half starts to look interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, both of these should have double GFI'd at the end, though, right? Like, okay, it's it's a bit it's yeah. a bit worse for the most of your turn, but you've got to you've got to start rolling dice to get back into this. You can't just move them here and do nothing. Totally. Even if you're just putting a, yet one other two plus onto the elves, which they will mock and just do without even thinking, it's the slim chance that you catch one. Yeah. When perhaps one other hasn't dodged off, giving you maybe two hits instead of one. That's what changes momentum in games. Um, so put the effort. In. It's you know, simple as that. Yep. You've got to play it your outs. You absolutely do. And there was the foul, and his bribe. Yeah. I, I, and no assist. Yeah. Really? It's, uh, that felt anger rather than sort of productive to me. Yeah, I, th I think it was a very strange decision. Oh, here we go, sir. A very strange decision from him to go with the uh, bribe over two reserve hobbles. Yes, I, I don't think I would have done. Uh, but then, you know, perhaps he was hoping for a, a high roll foul like he tried there. Mm. Oh, God, it was an uphill. Yeah, this, I don't, I'm not sure I love this, Jim. No, I mean, I, I just thought I was going to push him and surf him the ball carrier, right? I didn't understand. Yeah, there were ways of doing it that were less stupid, I think. <laughs> less stupid? Um, <laughs> sorry, but you know, this, still, this still leaves a fairly easy 3 plus 3 plus for a one die with Wrestle. Um, why? Why have you done that? <laughs> I mean, okay, the Chorfs haven't put enough backwards pressure to take advantage of anything like that. But there is still a bull that could get there. Yep. And a 3 plus 3 plus for a one die with Wrestle, I'd be taken all day. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the, the bull is ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. If he powers here, then, or even pushes, you can put him there, and then it's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's just a 2 plus, isn't it? I think it, I see what's happened here, it's because it's the replay, isn't it? Uh, that thing you can press in the client where you just challenge each other to a stupid surfing war for showing off reasons. <laughs> we, we, we've completely missed that they've done that, Jim. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, no, look, he's remembered there's a game going on. <laughs> and after he's done five pointless things and fucked off his reroll, he's had a go at the ball. Sorry for the language there, but, you know, don't do it like that. <laughs> and funnily enough, that GFI that he spunked his reroll on, he could have done the GFI last turn, which would then have, you know, put him in the position that he didn't need to do it this turn. Like another reason in, in that he had to make those GFIs last no, turn. It was sort of terrible to surf anyway. I'm they were both just showing off. Um, they did it badly, defend. and they wasted rerolls and in-game chances to do so. So, Is a 2 plus yeah, 2 plus better that than wasn't a 3 plus 3 turns. plus to hit with wrestle. Shame, because the Dark Elf broke through well, defended it quite well broke around the side well, and then showed off. And the Dark Elves 
sort of came forwards well, didn't defend it very well, particularly when broken through, didn't respond very well. Um, but somehow were left a chance that they then just ignored. Mm. Confusing, but there we are. Some good blood bowl, and then that. Yeah, and thank you very much, Scroll Dude, for staying fantastic for 61 glorious months. I'm pretty sure the 2 plus 2 plus is better, the fact that he has dodge and sure feet. Um, if he didn't, um, and obviously you're willing to put in the reroll, then maybe you know getting the rest of the hit is better. Because there's a big difference in knockdown percentage, isn't it? 55 to 30. But um, I think for sure the fact you're almost guaranteed to get there and then almost guaranteed to get the reroll in as well on your hit, it probably makes it. Probably makes yeah, it probably better. going with the bullet is better and then having the hog gob around to try and do something afterwards. Hmm. Uh, but there were plenty of options, that's the point. And I didn't think we were prioritising them quite enough. No. Uh, and the Chaos Dwarfs, I mean, could have been so much more aggressively back defending that, which would have made those kind of slips probably not happen in the first place. Yeah. But so much more likely to be taken advantage of if they did. Well, it's interesting, yeah. isn't it? As you said, he did play the first half quite well, but then, yeah, once yeah. once the L's got through, he, well, he get, he left the gap, to, and, you know, obviously Nolly found it, and then he just didn't, yeah, he, he had to he had to get, he had to do more. Um, it's that, that odd situation where you, you've probably got to risk more, but you've also got to get ready for that risk to fail better. So mm -hmm. you've got to really flood backwards as safely as you can and then look for something that changes it but still leaves you a chance after that. And I felt things like the bull dodging off on a four still leaving the break tackle to hit the ball was a, a classic one of those moments. Yeah. Uh, or bringing some of those Chaos Dwarves up on double go for it to at least you know put some pressure within where the screen was trying to move. Um, similarly, but instead we sort of didn't really try and do that. Um, yeah. We tried to go hitty, which... You know, with the, the withdrawn offence at the start, we were never going to get that up on else. And sure enough, there's now still 10 of them. However, we do get the hits here. And 1-0 down is still not a disaster. We haven't lost anything. Um, you know, we need our hobgobs to stay alive, don't we? And they are doing. Yeah, it's a double LOS with claw pom is could be devastating. Yeah. Well, I mean, remove even one elven each, then that's probably... About honours even. It's well, a good question for us. It's it's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Like it's not easy. You know, some people think that they they know how to defend against the Dakar or they've got it cracked. But I don't think it's as easy as you know do this or do that. I think it's, I think it's very tricky to defend a lot of the time, and that's why you get the moronic comment. It's uh, it's better versus bad players. It's like yes, everything is. Yeah. <laughs> everything fucking is. <laughs> They have absolutely no idea what to do about anything. Um, <laughs> yeah. It is very difficult. I mean, with a, a, a frenzy juggernaut, you you can't just defend in two lines because your front line is served yeah. at one corner. And they've only got to do that in one turn. And then what do you do next turn? Yeah. You already don't have enough pieces to cover it in two lines. Yeah. So coming forward as he did with the chevron edges and enough support that could pull back over to those corners seemed all right to me. Yeah. We just lost the shape because, as always, they've only got to knock one person over and stun it, or one pile on that. Yes, it can jump up, but it's altered where the shape goes. And yes, it got a kill, but it also left a hole. And uh, Jim's one hundred percent right. There isn't an answer because I would suggest the answer against you know, a lot of gutter runner rat teams is different to the answer against you know a fairly slow dark elf team like that. Because where they're going to be able to push through to when they push through is so incredibly different. And how they're going to try and push through. Are they going to go for the dodges? Are they going to try and break the line? Are they going to spend a couple of turns brawling to do it? And then if they've got something like a wizard or L drilled, then I'm not even sure there is a defense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the the big the big thing was the gap, wasn't it? Like you, you, yeah. you, the one the guy you blitzed, he was on his own. Like that that was. Now, so whether he piles on or not, just making that blitz is what, is what did it because he's still got that guy there, right? So he, he had to not have that guy there. However, I don't know how how he ended up in that situation where this guy was exposed. Maybe he did too many men over there or whatever. Maybe his blitz should have been more central. Which just blitz with a bull and then, you know, keep the shape more because that, that was just an obvious gaping hole, wasn't it? That, that chauff that, I, mean, I don't know where it was. It was about up here, wasn't it? Somewhere. Yeah, it was the pole, Jim. You know, in order to create that and to have that, it took one dwarf out of the wall, which was enough that making you know the wall doubles and pairs wasn't entirely possible. Mm. I mean, maybe there was a shape where it was, but it, 
But then if you never do any attrition, you know, the withdrawn offence has won its other goal, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so because he piled on, he took an, an extra player away, like an extra hobble away or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fair enough. But yeah, yeah, some movies he just couldn't afford it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good shout, good shout. Although, you know, I'd have, we'd have to have a long study of it, wouldn't we? That plays into my natural biases. Um, and I, I don't wish to just rest on that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like maybe he well, should just I, blitz. Because he's got I, a mighty blow tackler, right? The, the, yeah, exactly. The, the bulls, the so just blitz with a bull and then you don't need assists. So, but then you're less likely to get that attrition, which is so key and actually the, you know, the outcome of the long term tie. I, I do consider it unsolved, and I'm not saying that that was the sole problem. Um, the, the big problem is how the hell do you stop it when they've got effective tools to put it into action? Yeah. Uh, round of 16, Joel. Eh? This is the fifth. The fifth one. Going to try and do the last three after it tonight. <laughs> because I've uh, I've been lack I've been slacking on the streaming, so I'm just going to try and bust them all out. We're going to see a defensive Dakar. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're seeing it from we saw almost a Dakar from the the Chaos Dwarves there. Um, using interestingly exactly the tactic I was talking about, you know, pairing them all up so that even with Juggernaut, if you take one out. That the shape is still there, eventually to, to still form the screen. So if you look on the left-hand side, particularly as we're looking, you know, each bull has a pair with it. Even the chuff towards the rear is sort of paired with that other hot goblin. They're kind of in pairs across the field. Yeah. Uh, thinking that the dark elves may come for them. Uh, the dark elves, it would seem, I'm guessing here, Jim, not coming for them. <laughs> it doesn't look like they're coming, no. Yeah, I consider <laughs> that an informed opinion. That's the sort of reason you have me on. Yeah, thanks very much. We won't, you won't get an analysis like this anywhere else, guys. <laughs> this is great. I mean, I, that's another great thing about the Dakar is you play less blood ball. Exactly, yeah. This is brilliant. <laughs> it's one of my inherent issues with it. Um, amusing as that may be at times, you know, it, it is not great for the long-term health of the game if one of the top tactics becomes to avoid blood ball at almost all costs. <laughs> Hey, Artemis and I are, try are trying to make a streaming career from it. <laughs> the new rules I mean, lean into this this sort of play much more so. You're able to concentrate those rerolls on that one key turn to break the line. Yeah. Um, makes it you know, almost absurd not to. Yeah. In, in a lot more circumstances. So, we, yes, I think we're looking for the overtime ball here as the Dark Elves. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> love it. Love, love just running away. I mean, it's great because the, the, the team can ruin you. Like, I guess, to be fair, that's one thing about the Dakar is that the extreme attrition from CRP is gone in, in Blood Bowl 2016. Yes, to, so. a, to a great degree it is, yeah. Um, and it's slightly more tactical. I mean, playing for the ground is harder because fouling is back with a lot of teams, not all of them. But it's it is a much more of a threat. Yeah. Um, talk, talk, talk. I can't. I genuinely can't remember who won that game. Um, I think the Chorfs won here. Yeah, I think talk, talk, talk won. Well, it is and it is, and you know, Ollie. I mean, still with five strength for across the field. field. You've only got to stun one, and then they're in just as much trouble. You've only got to have a route past the second row, either with a, a hypno-cheat-type skill, or a wizard, or the ability to leap over it, and you're still in the money. Um, th there are routes that are making it less successful, but I do consider it unsolved. Hello, Phineas North. Gets the pal. That was, this is very rowdy, by the way, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think this is how, how I prefer to think of it, which is waiting for an opportunity, you know, trying to preserve the team whilst looking for a hole and hoping all the time they take their eye off the ball to the point where you think there's a route here. Well, this is, well, this is too... I don't think this is a route. I think this is too bold, and I think this, is, this could re result in a team deletion. This is not what I would have done. 
it's I don't think you're going to get a better shot so if you are going to come for the ball at all I think this was the turn to do it but I, I understand your concern yeah you can see this dark elf team getting wrapped up in a box and kicked into you know a totally different colour. No, I won't yeah, give that's in what I expect to happen. But that's what I expect to happen every time I play I against Norse, and it never bloody happens, does it? <laughs> For your effort in trying to remember your stream from a few hours ago. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Staying fantastic for five glorious months. <laughs> to be fair, I'm, I've been shattered and in a weird... I've been in, like, a weird state for a, for a week or two now, just playing Minecraft constantly. It's it's weird, but uh, I'm hopefully going to get over it soon. I think Fever Dreams, where you grapple with a 300-foot giant stone penis. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I think we could all understand that. Really. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dark Elf highlighting the pro elf tactic here of let's throw everything at it and see what sticks. Yeah. And not quite enough has. I mean, had the strength wolf not. Well, strength wolf, strength witch not been stunned, I could have seen something out of this, but. Ah, uh, depressingly, I think you may have been right, Jim. That perhaps wasn't the time. It seems they got away with it reasonably cleanly, just one KO, but it, it yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's run away again. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Bye bye. Fair enough, Ollie, but it looked it looked to me like they were gonna they were gonna surround you and murder you, but yeah, fair enough. Oh god. Well, not out of it yeah, that cleanly, there's another Kaz. <laughs> oh dear. I mean at least you did actually have that route in, Ollie. It, you know, as I said, if you were gonna go you probably weren't going to get a better moment, and it maybe did buy you the space, or could have bought you the space to, you know, then withdraw again and have a few more safe turns, but, yeah. This is the turn I would have had the bribe for, because now that witch surely just gets... No, we're just going to ignore it. Oh, he's not blitzing! I, I thought he'd have blitzed this. He could have He could have got this in there, and he could have, could have claw-pommed this blitzer. He could also have had two thirds of his team next to that witch and kicked him in the face. Yeah, you know, I mean that's what he might be doing. Well, there's already too many of them have run away. Yeah, but he's, he's two and a half and a half, isn't he? Like she's jump up, so if you if you put more, it's there's a little thing of like you might think, oh god, what if he can? Yeah, I suppose four assists on a witch isn't bad, is it? It's pretty much a guaranteed break stuff. <laughs> There we go. So two two witches KO'd and uh, Lino cast from that little adventure into playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> but yeah, no, they were gonna they were gonna get caught eventually anyway. So yeah, you might as well go yeah, in your and terms. And yeah, if, if you fail things, you've got a chance. Oh no, this one is a bit rowdy. Yeah, this is yeah, this is perhaps less than ideal. Although AG five, you I suppose you're only looking for a four, aren't you? And it's better than getting clone pond at the end of the day. <laughs> Failing the dodge in is better than getting claw pond. Do you feel this entire community is PTSD on the claw pond thing? It's true, though, isn't it? It's stupid. It's just, it's just, yeah, better foul than claw pond. Like it's just stupid. It is. It's, it's incredibly dangerous, and it always was. That's why it's been nerfed multiple times since its rule set, yeah. and now no longer exists. Yeah. Um, but. It, yes, it, it is still possible to play Blood Bowl and to beat teams that have Claw Bowl. It does yeah. still fail sometimes. Yeah. Um, it's just not easy. Yeah, you've got, to, you've got to rely on getting a bit lucky, basically. Yes. But also, failing to ever engage with it is sometimes not the way. Sometimes you have to just decide, I'm not going to fear it for the next couple of turns. And that's how this gets done. Yes. So it's finding the balance. Obviously, doing that all the time will just wreck your team. Yeah, and getting the chance, like you know, if you if you remember my uh, my high elf game versus Cruz, like his first turn, he basically didn't knock anyone down. He certainly didn't cas anybody. So then I was able to like you know engage massively. Like it was crazy. Like I was just I basically all manned him with my high elves, and then he couldn't get good hits with his claw bomb and stuff. So you know, and then he was having to defend the ball, and it was he was on the back foot for the whole match there, but. On the other hand, if he'd made three removals, I was totally just going to defensive Dakar, you know? Like, 
I wasn't even going to try. If he'd, if, he'd, if he'd made three removals to turn one, then I'd just run away because with eight yeah, people, you're going to get picked off and slaughtered, yep. aren't you? I had a couple of classics against Cruz in, in, I think, subsequent seasons, but certainly a couple of seasons apart. Um, my dwarves took on his big Nurgle, and that's when he swapped off Nurgle. Because I was able to, you know, isolate the claw pieces and bully the rest, which I had the skills to take them on, as long as I could only perhaps have one claw here to... And it worked. And, you know, I ended up bullying him around. And then the next chalice, he had a nicely built Chorf team and just wrecked me, you know, every... Mm -hmm couldn't get away from the claws the claws just worked all the time and everything died mm -hmm. and that happens against claw pump teams and you know, playing blood bowl we just have to accept that may be an outcome yeah yeah i mean the best way to win any fight ollie is to not be there that's what i tell my kids no um, be there that, that, that that remains true in blood bowl doesn't it but you don't always have that option Actually, I also tell them the second best is bull pressure, that if they can't run away, they should kick the other person in the balls. So it is it is exactly the same advice as I give my children when it comes to someone attacking them. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm setting up for a riot here. It's well, crazy. I think it's 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 good. I don't see a one-turn option into this much just strength and all evilness. But a riot would give you the, you know, slip up the side and it's done. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't see what's to be gained by trying to manufacture a hit on any of that front line with your one guard. Mm. Or no two guard. Okay, so yeah, a hit a cop got me. Absolutely. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah, <laughs> oh, robbed, Jim. Sad. Oh, he gets to hit the bull as well. Very exciting. Nicely done. Those are the ones that always won in nine for me. <laughs> or make a cast, one of the two. <laughs> you know, the, the shot they shouldn't have left you. You go, ah, but you give me this. And it fails, and you die. <laughs> yeah, usually whatever, whichever way it isn't deserved is <laughs> yeah. the way that it falls. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, this is pretty it's much a sure trap. Wins the, well, wins the toss wins, right? Certainly, if the chorps win the toss, you've got to flank back them. We got the witches back. That's sexy. Yeah, both witches back. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, maybe if the witches weren't back, maybe the chorps can oh, still win on defense. But with the witches back, yeah, three, six, nine players it, is more than really, enough. Yeah. Yeah. I, then yes, if the dark elves have the ball, the dark elves should win the game. Only 10 men for defense. Yep, it's one too few. It sure is. Honestly, I think that was a big mistake by him taking the bribe ball for, over two hobbles. Yeah, I think numbers here could have been handy. I would I'd love to keep 11 on the pitch for all drives here. Yeah, yeah Juggs does have solid quick score value indeed. Well, he's centralizing the tackled bull, which is sensible, but it does leave the other one very exposed out on one flank. So there's an obvious flank to take here. Well, I think this is the obvious flank. This claw pommer, because you can uh, knock this guy down, and then you can yep. hit him with the jugs. Yep. And then there's a wide open space. It is. It's a gaping hole, Jim. Yeah, but Nolly's going the other side. Which is... This I mean, way you strange. don't get your players killed by claw yeah. you know, you You're avoiding the two nastiest chorfs. But that's, mm. all that's all they've done is stand there and look scary. Going, <laughs> and <laughs> is going, oh, I'm running away from them. Yeah. Which is, is, it's okay, except the problem here is that we've got two bulls that can fold in. It is through the weakest hobgob. Um, so that's sort of all right, isn't it? Yeah. But it means you're going for the full-on side sneak, I think. Yeah. I don't think we're going through the bull. Despite the double guards. Yeah, it's the side. So this is two into one. So it's two into a two plus. Mm, it's gonna stay there. Ooh, I don't like that. 
Yeah, I mean, this is good that it, it actually, but I really like going through here just because then you get like a yeah. full, yeah. full on formation. I mean, literally everything could have gone that way. Yeah, yeah, like it's 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 a, like that have... really is a gaping hole, isn't it? If you if you it power is. this guy and power this guy, then their defense is gone. Still four rerolls, so I'd like to see some GFIs, please. Yes, there was, I think, one more space on that Dark Elf we could have done that I would have liked to have done. Yeah, I think I would have definitely Just a bit too compact with having got that many through. Yeah. It still now looks like it's going to work, but it's just a bit too compact. Yeah. You can get both bulls around the front of it, which we need to. And start bringing the chorfs in. Once again, once again, Jorge El Cuatro showing his reluctance to GFI. Like, these guys yeah. aren't doing anything it's here. It's not... So leave them till the end. This is why safe him first, not always is the right place. Pointless, play. pointless yeah. place for that dwarf to be. Yeah. And that's wrong. Where, where is he going? The, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Don't do that. That's bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was all terrible. Yeah. So don't defend like that. Yeah. I mean, I could go into why, I suppose. <laughs> we so if the both bulls come around the front, they're nice and strong, and you can attack things and use your tackle there. And then you did have the space, if you just had the balls, to put some things in on the side where that witch was hittable, even if it was on a one die. Just push more things towards the edge. Get more tackle over there. Get in the way more. Um, that was a, a incredibly unlikely dodge to get a, two reds on a sidestepping elf. Even then, the ball was going to go wherever he wanted. It it was all a bit tight, and it didn't leave you that easy a route in. I do celebrate going for that if it's the only option you've got, but actually, depressing as it was, you're probably better off taking the 20% of just getting things in front of it and hoping for another shot somehow. But I also, mean, don't set up that badly. Yeah, and to be fair to oh, El Cuatro, it wasn't easy, right? You know, this is like, this is versus awesome. elves that can score anytime they want. You've only got 10 yes. men, your yes. players are slow, like, he's got four yes. rerolls. It's, 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 a, it's a tough ask to defend against it, a very tough ask. So, yeah. It's it's horrible. Yeah. Well, well done to him. And uh, obviously, congrats, Nolly. And uh, thank you very much, Purple Chest, for coming in and, and doing the commentary. Sure. Absolutely glorious to have you back in the booth. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.